Hey everyone, welcome to another video of Let's Make Pokemon Sword and Shield inside of Minecraft. It has been a very long time, and I recognize that. No particular reason. Uh, I wasn't, like, burnt out on it or anything. I just... I just didn't. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah. So, back to making some videos. Probably gonna be around once a week. Maybe twice, just depending on... Um, like how I feel, or if I'm in the mood to do it. Um, but yeah, so this episode, nothing too crazy, just like to get back in the, back into the swing of things, I guess. Um, it's just gonna be some minor little things. Just literally making, like, the stairway right now to Route 2, and just gonna finish off the area in between, um, Mot- is it Motostoke? No. Dang it. Wedgehurst? And, um, Route 2. That's pretty much it. Um, this episode, thought I'd try something a little bit different. I want to see what it's like to talk the entire time. Um, I don't know how it's going to go. I'll see how I like it, uh, if I like it at all. Um, but we'll, we'll just see how it goes. It's only a short, like, video that doesn't have a huge amount of content in it. But, you know, why not? Why not? Um, uh, yeah. So, what can I, what can I say? A couple months have passed since Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet have released. Um, I'd like to hear, like, your personal opinion on it. Uh, cause I'm kinda curious, just to see, like, what people think of it. Very mixed. I feel like, really, the only thing you can really complain about is, like, the graphics and performance. So it's the only thing that really is complained about. Like, ever. Um, but I think it's still good. I think it's fun enough to overlook the, um, like, all the all of its flaws and stuff. But yeah, still a pretty good game. Um, I'm curious to, like, think of what is, like, next for the Pokemon company, I guess. Now, when Skull and Violet, like, did get, like, announced and, like, early on, I was looking at, like, leaks and all that sort of stuff. Um... I'm pretty sure, and like time to time I looked at leaks like closer to like its release date uh, just because I find it fun you know um, but I'm curious to like kind of think of what's next so if you really think about it logically here we're either gonna get like a DLC for Pokemon Skull and Violet uh, very unlikely an enhanced version or something like that uh, a lot of people are speculating, like, the DLC will be something to do with, like, Kalos. And stuff like that. Some people are speculating, um, like, I don't know, it's... I don't know. <sighs> I am, I am so out of, <laughs> out of practice doing this. But yeah, some people are speculating it could be, like, a Kalos DLC, just a continuation of the story. Maybe it's still both. I really, I really couldn't tell you, to be honest. Um, it could have nothing to do with Kalos. It could be literally anything. Um, I'm curious to see what that's about. And judging, like, what Sword and Shield's DLC was like, um, I actually preferred Sword and Shield's DLCs to the actual game itself, which is sad to say, but true. Um, so I'm hoping it's kind of the same for, Sc like, Skull and Violet's DLC, if that's gonna happen. Uh, game-wise, um, look, they're likely gonna make, like, another, maybe, like, another Pokemon spin-off game, um, I guess, down the track of this year, um, like, when, uh, the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra came out, if my memory serves me correct, like, that was the, also the year where Pokemon Unite and, like, Cafe Remix and all of those ones came out, actually, or, it might have been, I don't know. I'd know for a fact though, Pokemon, um, New Pokemon Snap came out the same year as that, like a bit earlier on, around April. So we could get something, but I'm not really, like, hoping we do, just because I want more time to be focused on, like, the... on, like, a game they already have, or a mainline, or just, like, just focus on one thing rather than broadening too much. But yeah, so this year I'm I'm thinking that we're gonna get a spin-off um, and DLC. That's my guess. Uh, 
it sounds pretty realistic considering the rate at which Pokemon, like the Pokemon company and Game Freak moves with their, like, games and stuff. Um, but yeah, year after that, about 2024, I am expecting probably, I'm probably going to get a remake, if I'm being honest. Probably, like, hoping Pokemon Black and White. Um, that would be pretty cool. Uh, like, I'm just hoping that they don't do, like, a Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl move and, like, just retexture everything. Um, and make it slightly worse somehow. <laughs> but, like, yeah. Uh, do, like, a Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire situation where it's, like, story changes a bit. Um, it's, like, chibi but not chibi. It's, like, it's the in-between phase that Pokemon's going through. Um, they added Megas, they did like a whole Mega storyline, all that, it was, it's good. So I hope for Black and White, now that it's actually like, re well, when it came out it was recognized as like a pretty bad game, but now it's regarded as like one of the best, or at least Black 2 and White 2 is. Um, so I feel like they're gonna let a lot of people down if they don't like, enhance it to make it better. Like we. Like, we want, in the sense, we want, like, a remake, not a remaster sort of thing, you know? Um, we want, like, new content, uh, new features, all that sort of stuff. Maybe, like, include Terrastal in it, you know? They did that with Megas. It would make sense. Um, but yeah, don't just, like, retexture everything and, like, make it glitchy as hell. Um, that would not be pleasant. Um... Then, obviously, 2025 rolls around. What I'm thinking is that... Um, 2025, I think it's going to be a decently small year. Maybe just a few spin-offs, maybe like a little little title coming out here and there. It won't be anything huge. Reason, pe people are saying, oh, it's probably going to be Gen 10. But I don't think it will be. Because, like... What is it? Um... Like, Gen 10 is such a round number, and like, oh, didn't mean to say that yet. Um, usually when Pokemon games release, they follow the order of a three-year gap. So, like, I think it was 20... I can't remember the exact dates off the top of my head. Um, but that they're there. I'm pretty sure it's 2016 for, X, like, um, Sun and Moon. 2019 for Sword and Shield, and 2022 for Scarlet and Violet. People are like, oh yeah, 2025 must be Gen 10. Which I am pretty sure won't happen. I think, one, they're going to want to put as much effort as they can into Gen 10, because it's just such a big number. It's the first double digit. Um, so they're going to want to make it like as good as they possibly can. And the second thing is that just a year later in 2026 is the 30th anniversary for Pokemon. And I feel nothing would be more fitting than the 30th anniversary than to just, like, introduce Gen 10. Which makes sense, I think. I think giving it one more year of extra thing will, one, improve the story and graphics and all that, and, like, make, like, have... Ugh. They'll have a lot of time to patch it, so there won't be many... Um, like, performance issues and graphic being bad and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, predictions for what Gen 10 could be. I know I'm stretching this out, like, a lot more into the future, but I'm thinking either based around, hoping Australia, because that's where I'm from, that would be sick. Um, that would be really cool. Um, I haven't really thought about any other place. I feel like a, ch a Chinese region could be pretty sick. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of places, really, that, like, could have pretty awesome regions. Um, but yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Um, like, why not just, like, I guess, write in the comments what you think um, will happen? Like, give your predictions to the timeline for the next four, so, like, few years of Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, video's wrapping up right now. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe and all that. And I'll catch you bozos later on. Ka-chow.